Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Prolberg. Although you can't see me, we can see Victoria Martinez, um, who is a track star and who just finished up her eligibility um, this past indoor season. She went out with a bang by winning um, the mile, the 3K, and was the anchor for the winning distance medley relay in the NAIA championships. Um, so she recently found out, unfortunately, that she has a stress fracture, so she's taking some time off. But she is studying to become a doctor of physical therapy, so she, she should be able to help herself recover super fast. So welcome, Victoria. Hi. Um, so tell me a little bit about your injury. When do you think you'll be back up and running? Um, I have uh, multiple hairline fractures in my calcaneus of my foot, and it happened a week before uh, one of the big races at Mount Sac. So I raced on it broken, and... It happens to be my landing leg through the water jump, so um, definitely hurt a lot. But uh, I got a PR out of it, so I was happy with the race. So um, I've been out for a month, and I've got another two months to go before I can start running again. Okay, wow. So you actually ran steep the steeple with a broken foot, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty hardcore. Congrats for getting a PR, PR out of it, too. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. So you already have been out for one month of not running. Um, mm-hmm. You kind of have a good handle, I'm sure, of what it's going to be like for the upcoming month. So what kind of advice do you have for runners or any athlete that's going through an injury? Um, I've definitely had my fair share of other injuries, and um, I've definitely learned that injuries can be a blessing in disguise. Uh, it For me, it definitely forces me to take time off and allow my body to rest, which has ultimately made me stronger. Um, I've become much stronger as a runner mentally because I've had to go through cross-training through the hard moments and be able to go through rehab a lot. And um, The injuries have taught me a lot of life lessons about keeping a balanced life and being able to keep God in the center of my running and in the rest of my life. And um, it's very important to me that I stay balanced and like definitely wanting to be the same person whether I'm running or not because ultimately ultimately the joy I have for life comes from God and not through running and uh, as far as advice with injuries I would say to trust yourself trust your fitness that you'll be okay and you can persevere through this injury and um, just uh, having to have faith that uh, there must be a different plan for you um, down the line that you just don't see yet. So That's really good advice because that usually is true. Things do happen for a reason. So hopefully um, those good things happen really quickly for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad you mentioned the mental strength that it takes to get through injuries because it sounded like competing in three events at nationals is a feat of its own, and so I'm sure you needed a lot of mental toughness to even do that before the injury even happened. So you'll just be even more mentally tough. But yeah. how did you how did you prepare for the indoor meet where you had to tackle these three events? Um, I have definitely thought about that last day of nationals of running three events for um, since I found out that I was going to compete for one more year. So I thought about it almost every day for nine months and um, definitely uh, had pictured the goal in my head for that long. And just knowing that my coaches believed I could do it just gave me confidence that I could. And so we started doing little things like bumping up my mileage about five to ten uh, miles a week, which or five to ten more miles a week, which works very well with my body and um, just running a little bit longer uh, workouts and um, building up the endurance I would need to get there. And um, what definitely helped me most uh, preparing for it was knowing that my team was counting on me to lead us uh, to a national championship. And being able to bring that home was pretty awesome. And just um, I knew that I wanted it more than anybody out there for so long. And I trained hard, so hard to make sure that I was ready for that day. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure it was a sweet ending for you, um, at yeah. least as far as collegiate at least. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So out of those three events, or I know you do the steeple, so which event would you say is your own or which one do you kind of like 
competing in the most? Um, I would definitely say it's the mile for me. Okay. Um, I've won that one twice now, so it's kind of really cool. That was like my very first one. Um, uh, it's just like it's the race is like just long enough and short enough to uh, play to all of my strengths, and I understand the dynamics of the race and um, how to race it, and I just really have a good time running that race. So that's awesome. That's a tough one. That and the eight hundred are pretty tough races. You got to be speedy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> So once you get healed up and you're ready to run again, what are some of your plans and goals? Um, as long as I'm able to still do well in grad school, I think I'm going to compete for one more year. Um, I might join a post-collegiate team um, with the goal being of um, running in the U.S. championships next year. Awesome. That would be really exciting to see you there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what kind of interested me most about your story was that you were from the NAIA. And mm-hmm. I'm, I was a Division three runner, and I know that Division three, Division two, and the NAIA don't get as much media publicity. Um, but obviously you have the credentials that, you know, call for media attention. So can you tell me a little bit about why you chose to go to an NAIA school? Um, it's kind of a funny story. I initially did not want to go to APU at all just because I was looking at major D1 schools at the time and was getting a lot of offers. And then um, my senior year of high school, I tore my ACL, and all those dreams kind of um, went away, and I kind of got stuck with APU at first. Okay. And then when I got here, it ended up being absolutely amazing, the best fit. I had no idea what kind of amazing program I was getting into, and... Um, I wouldn't change it for any change it for anything to go back to APU. I love I love it here, and um, it definitely like the environment gives you a place where you can work hard and try to work at the highest level in a relaxed environment. So that's awesome. So what advice? Here. I'm sorry. What what did you say? That's just how I ended up here. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a good story. Sometimes things end up the best way that the way that they should. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so what advice do you have for incoming freshmen or kids that are looking at colleges? Um, I would definitely say um, just to uh, when you're that being part, like I would say looking for colleges to, um, I guess, don't necessarily look at um, just like get – um, hung up in the hype of the D1s type programs, um, which more so look at what would work for you, more so of like which environment works best for you and if they have your major that you're interested in because ultimately you're there to get an education and be able to go on with your life and um, you're going to want to be happy at the program you're at. So I guess just really take a look at what definitely fits for you personally. And that is some great advice, and I would speak to that too. You'll run for a short period of time, but the education you get is what counts. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm glad that you found a school that does did both of those things for you, and I hope yeah. that you heal up really fast. So study <laughs> hard so you can get your, your body healed up. Um, <laughs> And hopefully we will see you next year in outdoor. And to everyone watching, make sure that you look for Victoria Martinez in the upcoming seasons because I'm sure she's going to be running super fast. So thanks for talking with me, Victoria. Yeah, thank you.